Hello and welcome back to SMT5 Vengeance. We are in Shinjuku Gyoen, which is, as far as I can tell, a brand new area for this route of the game. And it takes place in a spot where we should be going to another area if we were following the original canon. So this means that we are now fully, and I've said this before, but I'm saying it again because it it's true, we are now fully off the rails from where the first SMT5 route takes you. This means we're in a completely different area, and even if it drags us back to the original areas, the original areas will fundamentally have to have been changed if, uh, with nothing else, they'll have to be changed in the levels of those areas, right? Because there is another area. We're going to get XP here, we're going to fundamentally be a different level than we would be normally and that's going to be interesting to see how they dealt with it. Now they could have just changed XP levels across some quests and potentially that means you reach areas at different levels but yeah I'm interested in seeing where this goes. So we're going to head out. Now I did do something else between episodes I also went and farmed a lot just seeing which way it expects us to leave from here. Um, but we'll deal with that when we want to go deal with our demons, which will probably be around the next save we want to deal with our demons, and then we can go back and do some of the quests that are roughly the right level for us. Okay, we'll do this. Spyglass. Cool. Hello. You there. I will not ask who you are. It is enough for me that your appearance here must be God's will. I am the one called Throne. I'm afraid this is a time of great difficulty for Bethel. But I believe you must have been sent by God to strike down our enemy. That is the ancient being, Gog Magog, a barbarian who refuses to accept God. As the wheel that paves the way for the Lord, I cannot allow for the existence of enemies such as that giant. We angels cannot perform an aerial assault, as his power would ground us all too quickly. Indeed, angels are disadvantaged when we are unable to take to the skies, but we are not ashamed of this fact. After all, this is how God created us, and it is God who sent you to us now. Should you defeat that giant, I shall bestow a reward upon you in the name of our Lord. Will you lend your hand to us? Okay. Ah, I thank God that his will dictated to you to an or dictated you to answer so. Now then, I shall leave you to it. Or I'll leave it to you. Okay. So there's Gog Magog down there. Uh how difficult do you reckon this quest is? Forty three Alright, we are significantly underleveled for this area so far. Interesting. I'm just seeing which way we might want to go here. So obviously we could just jump off to the, the top here, but I think probably down this way if we're just following the path. That's a lot of Narcissus. Narcissus? Narcissi? Uh, weak to fire. Okay, let's maybe throw in a Hellbiker here. Actually, we have Siren up running. Although, really what I should do is put Tal back in her slot and then swap Siren up for Hellbiker here. Cool. Let's go fight. Hello. Lots of them are aggroed, so hopefully this means we're going to get some multi-fights. Uh, light. Okay, so we're going to go fire. Huge damage. Heat wave. Nice. Uh, we'll do a little hell burner. Uh, Mahamon. Uh, attack. 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 Nice crit. Now we face the next set. Fantastic. Same same concept here. So it's just fire. Uh, I'm going to do a Sakana. Well, we'll do a heat wave. Nice crit. Hell, hell burner. Attack. Attack. That's horrible. Aramasa. We got it. Cool. Hey, and a level up for Yoko. Also, look at the XP we're getting. That's absurdly high. That is insane. 
So, yeah, we are definitely under levels because uh, that XP is not normal. Okay. Hey, guys, aggro onto me. Hey guys, aggro. Come on. Come on, everybody. Well, hopefully that worked. <laughs> we'll see. Do some more fire. But yeah, the last quest we get, did, I think, gave us 10,000 XP. Um... That fight just gave us 11,000. So, yeah. That's kind of the context we're working with here. Also, we just missed, which means we need to raise our agility next time it gives us an option. That one was not worth nearly as much. Okay. But that might be because it was a single fight. It's very difficult to get these guys to attack you in a group. Maybe if we go over here, we can do better? There, there we go. Now we're talking. That was at least three of them aggroed on us. And that's three in this fight. That's perfect. Okay. So fire, heat wave, hellburner, uh, Mahamon, fire, uh, Aramasa. Nice. That wasn't a multi fight, really. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll take a point in agility here, just because we missed. Alright, well, I think I'm giving up on getting these guys to attack us as a group. They don't seem to be uh, interested. Okay. Let's look at our map here as we've got it. There's another quest down that way we should probably grab as well. <laughs> Is it this thing you were trying to get me to? Okay. Okay, cool. Spyglass. Are we able to go in the water? No. Okay. That's fine. This? That's just some Soma drops. That's fine. What have we got up here? A couple of Lamias. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Ah, we finally meet. I've been searching for you. <laughs> I'm Sukuna Hikuna of the Kunitsukami. Together with Okunushi, I formed this land. I heard that a protofiend has had made his return. So I came to see for myself. Is he a mere servant to Bethel, or does he desire to shape the future? Hmm, it seems my fears were unfounded. I can see it in your eyes. Very well, then. As a guardian of this land, perhaps I shall watch over you as well, Protofiend. <laughs> yeah, I'm reminded of the days when I traveled alongside the Okuninushi. Now then, let us go, Protofiend. I, Sakuna Hikona, shall be the steadfast rudder which guides you through the turbulent waters of uncertainty. Mm. Now is not an ideal time, you say. Very well, then. I shall await you near the leyline fount. Speak to me when you have need of my power. Okay, so another demon navigator. They have a lot of demon navigators in this game. I'm assuming because they're not, uh, like that uh, difficult to add and it adds a little bit of flavor. All you need is a little, ooh, I found something nice, and then the model fall just kind of flaps behind you. But anyway. I feel the heat, oh, but I need some fuel to keep on blazing bright. That's why I'm always on the he hunt for more items, ho. Oh. I'm Jack-o-lantern, can ye he help me with my search? He ho, I'm looking for fire gems. I just need two of them, ho. Oh. Got any fire gems? Yeah. Hee hee hooray! Burning that midnight oil ho. Take this as a symbol of my hee ho thanks. Chakra drop. Alright. And 9,000 XP. But yeah, that fight got us. Uh, sorry, that fight got us 11,000 XP. This got us 9,000 for doing the quest. That's not. Usually quests get you a lot more than a single set of fights. That's all I'm gonna say. What is Donum Magikai? Greatly increased damage of next magic based attack for one ally. That's cool. Not taking it, but it's cool. I'm not giving you any more fire fire gems. Not even if I he have some to spare. Cool. Sleep gem. Um, so that's that part there. Hmm. Let's head back up. Also, uh, when I was checking whether this area was an area that um, was previously in this game, just to check my um, like to check my memory, I did find out that this area has been used before. 
It's in a game I haven't played, so I don't know whether there's any connection to it whatsoever. There's also, obviously, it's a real area in real life. But it was used in SMT4 and SMT4 Apocalypse. I have no idea how that connects in. From my understanding, that takes place in a completely different time period, but... If, if you happen to have played those games, there could be something here that connects to them. I have not, though, so... Uh, which way am I going? Back up this way? Yeah, I guess back up this way and then left? Yeah, I think that seems right. Okay. Let's get this thing while we're here. That was a lot of Narcissus. That might be why there's so many of these guys here as well. I was just thinking, because this is an area in real life, I think they said it was like a national garden or something. Could be explain why there's so many plant people here. Anyway, uh, let's use Heat Wave. Uh, Hell Burner. Nice, they even crit, which is even better. Uh, nice. Aramasa. Nice. Next one. Perfect. If we can get three, I'd be very happy. Uh, two is pretty good, though. Right. Hellburner. Should probably use a tract pipe at some point just to. Um... Does that kill? Not quite. Hit him like this. Uh, pass. Hit with this. But yeah. I probably should use a tract pipe to try and uh, level us up at some point. But yeah, that was worth 40,000 XP for Hellbiker. That's pretty good, I'd say was worth less for other people, but still. Yeah. Good amount of extra stats. Blight. Uh, I don't think we need Blight, right? Also, Hellish Mask shouldn't be at the top of his list, so fix that. True. Hey, we got uh, Mabufula as well. Okay, so. Um, you? Move this down. Maybe I could have replaced Fatal Sword with that, actually, now that I think about it. But anyway, it's fine. And Artemis, let's move this up. And that's it, actually. Okay. Cool. Quests? Oh, that's just saying we did the quest. Uh, I assume it was... Yeah, it probably wasn't very difficult. Oh! I actually just walked into that enemy there. Well, it's nice of us it, to give us a little uh, gap there. Also, I realized I've been saving and I should have made a new slot for a save. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm not saving over the end of the previous episode. I'm just saving over the end of my grinding, which is fine. Uh, not that we'll, we should need to go back, but that's fine. Uh, I'm going to figure out where to go. So, yeah, I want to go back this way and then down towards, yeah, the Magatsu Rail. Also, Silky, hello. Are you the same one that was at the Fairy Village? Ah, oh, it's you. You frightened me. Yes. It's me, Silky. We met at the fairy village. I assume you must have seen it too, the state of that village. I happened to be away foraging for medicinal herbs at the time, so I was spared the tragedy myself. I was afraid of what might happen if I stayed there, so I escaped to Shinjuku, but whenever I remember that scene, I, I shudder. We fairies have only ever tried to live peacefully, or peaceful lives in harmony with nature, but still. Oh, I'm sorry to be all doom and gloom. Honestly, it's a bit disheartening to be so alone, but it'll be okay. I'll find a way to make this work. Okay. Lamia? A large crow. Oh, yes. I do see one every now and then. I believe it is a familiar beholden to a master. I saw it fly off to the northeast. Perhaps you should try there. And? Hello, Legion. Right. Ever seen your face here before? Uh, for real though, I ain't seen a demon like you before. Uh, you got it, huh? Got what? Don't play dumb with me, fool. I got loads of brains up in here. I can see right through you. You got an identity. I got lots of similar faces, yes? You see? Put another way, we ain't got an identity ourselves. Our faces are actually all a little bit different, but no one can tell them apart. Hey, can you tell us apart, huh? I can't. Why? 
Well, then I got a perfect challenge for you. If you ever seen a Meemon before, did you know the... Even though Meemon all look the same, if you look very closely, they got all sorts of differences. I'm gonna show you a bunch of Meemon in a row. Then you're gonna point out the same Meemon I asked for. I'll reward you if you get them right, and I'll be happy you did it too. Two birds with one stone, yeah? How about it? Are you up for it? Yeah? Hell yeah, let's get started. Now then, be sure to take a good look at the face of the Meemon I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, he's kind of smiley, large lips. Then find the Meemon I showed you from the Meemon... Uh, first, find the first Meemon I showed you from the Meemon I show you afterwards. This one on the left. Bingo! That was just a little trial. Tryouts, if you will. Now it's time to board the Meemon Express. Now time for the next one. Keep them coming. Now you gotta remember what's unique about the Meemon. Pay attention to what they're holding or what their body looks like. Got it? Um, red gem. Body looks normal. Small lips. And the next one. Find the Meemon I showed you from the Meemon. I'm going to show you right now. Number three. Easy. It's hard to see. Try turning the message window. Or if it's hard to see, try turning the message window off. Oh, thanks, Legion. Um, yeah, you can turn it off by doing that. I don't know why that makes it any easier to see. I guess if you're on the Switch and you're playing in handheld mode, that makes sense. Otherwise, I have no idea. It's the rightmost one. I did it. Hell yeah, keep it up. Now time for the next one. Keep them coming. Now you gotta pay close attention to the order they come out. Sit, sitting down. Small lip. Sword. Make sure you memorize it real well. Uh... Which one came second? The middle one? Correct! Whoa, your eyes are so good! The Meemon are happy about it too! Even Gustav tell us not- uh, no tell us apart as good as you maybe. Was well, kinda fun. You got a Soma drop. And 8000 XP. The level up for Mushuwu. Which gives us Medea, which is probably worth taking over counter. Because uh, it'd be good to have a second healer. Well, get some harder questions. We'll get some qu harder questions ready for you. We play again sometime if you want. Okay, let's do a save. And let's chat again. Yo, come to play with the Meemon again? We got a question for you, our ultimate trump card. Alright. Yeah, you real good guy. For the next question, lots of Meemon are gonna come out. Standing up, small lips, holding a gem. Small lips, no gem. Open mouth, too smiley. Large mouth, angry sword. Two swords. Smiley. Which one comes out before and after this guy? Doesn't matter which order you pick him, by the way. Which guy? The guy on the left? Large mouth sword? Rightmost? Rightmost definitely came out after him. I choose the second one. Second f second from the left? That's so weird. It's leftmost first from the left, second from the left. It's so weird in the way that they're written. I think it's that one, right? Because it was... It was gem. No, then it... No, it was gem. Then it was smiley. Wait. Have I got this wrong? 
it, Gem was first, so it's not Gem. Because it was Gem, Smiley, Small Mouth, Large Mouth, Two Swords. So it's got to be first from the left. No! Was it, se was it second from the left? We're so sad, but don't give up. We'll be here waiting for you to take the challenge again. Dude, why don't you tell me who the... Tell me the right answer. All right, let's go. All right, I know what I'm looking for now and what kind of questions it might ask, which is gonna uh, change how I think about it a little bit. So. Small, gem. Small. Smiley. Large mouth, one sword. Smiley, two sword. Yeah, so if it's the same question, yeah, it is. Okay. So, I, yeah, I was right with my initial guess. I just, I overthought it. So it's second from left, and then the rightmost. Oh, correct, Amundo. You got some tunnel vision or what? The hell's that face for? I'm complimenting you. Keep them coming. Next up, you got to pay attention to how many times one comes out. That means they'll show them. Though things will show up multiple times, got it? Oh my... Okay. Holding gem up, small lips. Sword up, large mouth. Gem up, small lips, two. Gem up, small lips, three. Large mouth, gem up, one. Small lip, gem up, four. Four. That was four times. Was that only three times? Okay, let's do it <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, memory game is not my best subject. Okay, gem up one, gem up two, gem up three. Oh, one of them had an open mouth. Wait, that's gem up four. The answer is four. It's still four. Do you want me to say three? I still think the answer was four. <laughs> Even having said that, but okay. Right on. These guys are taking a real shine to you too, eh? Whoa, time to go full throttle to the final question. Now let's get started. In the previous question, when did this one show up? Three, two, yeah, yeah, let's do it again. So the answer to this one is three. Okay, that was one. Okay, yeah, so he was two. So that's two, three, this is the same thing, three times. That's a different one. Then that's the fourth time. The answer is still four. But you want me to say three, so I'll say three. I must be missing something. It's two. Very freaking good. Damn, you're really good at this. Shit, I'm so hyped up, I don't even remember what it was even worrying about. Nah, Habino, sure. Um, nah, Habino, sure, amazing. Last question, harder than think, right? Here you go, take it as a thanks. Three Soma drops, I can't even pick them up. Gotta go now, before everyone finds out what we were playing. Bye-bye, see you around someplace. Nice when things are getting lively, as we can mess around together, yeah? You be sure to make a bunch of allies for yourself, too. Okay, uh, well apparently I failed at the memory uh, puzzle, but uh, we, got, we got there in the end and I didn't even get any reward for it, which you know what, it's kind of fair given my performance. It's kind of weird, them circling that tree like that. Uh, we'll, we'll move away before we get attacked. Uh, let's maybe destroy this uh, thing over here. This is fine. Whoa, 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 I just want to know what I was fighting. 
And hit it. I think that was about to be a spawn on top of us. Kumhandra, Mushuwu, and Succubus. I can't remember what these guys are weak to, but we have Succubus here. So that's light. Mushuwu is weak to fire. So fire and light. In Kumhandra, I can't remember. It's not going to tell us. That's okay. So we know that you're weak to fire. So let's hit you with fire. Uh, heat wave. Fire. Light. Okay. Fire. Heat wave. He um, we could do Hellburner. We could also just hit one with a heavy attack we think we could kill. But no, let's do Hellburner. And then we can wipe him next turn. Assuming we live. That lowers our attack. Ow. That's fine. We're going to try and wipe them. I know that they've got Magatsuhi, but we're going to go all out. So, criticals. And then... Fire. Why? Every time. It's crazy. Right. Light. Fire. At least we killed one. But like, it seems like after a crit, I, like, I'm so much more likely to miss. Insane. That only takes MP. We're fine with that one. <laughs> you can do that one as many times as you like. I remember, you weak to electricity? Might be. Yeah, okay. That's good. Uh, heat wave? Change to Lamia. There we go. Let's go. Right. Hit light. I have no MP. Pass. Heat wave. Mazionga. And then light. Didn't quite get him. That's fine. That crit Yoko. That's not good. Spirit Drain hurts. Okay. <sighs> Let's switch you. Well, no. Let's switch in Artemis for now. Your turn. Go! That's fine. Lamia. Mazionga. Rez Yoko, so she gets XP. Artemis, Astral Saint Strike. Yeah, still doesn't seem to be critting, but that's okay. Could attack, or but I think we want to pass and then hit with a uh, Zionga. Didn't quite get it. Okay, that's fine. Artemis, uh, Astral Saint Strike. Yeah, I'm, I'm very certain that can't crit after seeing it several times now. <laughs> Hellbiker levels up to 39. It's time to get rid of Inspiring Leader because his XP is caught up. And now we can get him Great Life Spring, which is a pretty significant health increase. That is a 62 health increase. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Yoko levels up. Cool. And we have killed that thing. Which gets us Demon Proficiency 3, Divine Proficiency 3, Almighty Mastery 2, and Physical Mastery 2. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Let's head back. Wait, did I ever... I didn't check what this thing take, where this thing takes us. I bet it takes us back to, the, to here. I should have done that first. Okay. Right. Let's go in here. Quests. A self of my own we completed. Okay. Uh, then we want to switch our party around a little bit here. So we want to put Yoko back in. And then we want to put... Uh, Sakona Hikona. Also, can I... Uh, you can't move people around in here. That's fine. You can sort in there, but you can't move people around. Okay. Uh, 
Let's head back down there. Let's just do that. If we think that that Magatsu rail takes us back there, we should just do it. Crowned Bottle. It sounds like that would sell for quite a lot. I don't know why. This has the kind of name where you're like, that probably sells. Okay, so along here. Back along to the left. Then we'll use the rail, which will probably take us back to the start and start us with getting like a little hub built up here. Yeah, this this almost certainly takes us back to the start. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what we thought it would do because it makes sense, right? So that gives us a link through there. Okay, so we're starting to explore the area, but uh, yeah, slowly. Do we potentially want to do some uh, demon stuff now? I think now seems like a good point. Let's go to the demon haunt first. Speak to who we need to speak to, and then we'll do some demon stuff. Right, hello. I'm no spring chicken, but I've got some youthful energy in me yet. Okay, so we get another two points of magic for Turbo Granny. Heard I got me arrival on the Shuto Expressway. They call her Dash Hag. You seen her? You seen her? No. Hello. Very good. Man, I'm glad I made it to the netherworld. Almost missed my chance to show up. That'd suck if I was the only Tengu who wasn't here. Algami? Hmm. You seem quite used to battle now. But remember that even fiercer foes likely await us. On top of that, this land is practically a labyrinth itself. We'll need to watch where we step. Yes. Perhaps other demons might be able to help us discover new paths. Okay. Hey. I trust you aren't thinking of me as a crude and indelicate woman, are you? I'll have you know my virtue is famed far and wide. I'm pure in body and noble spirit. Thanks. <laughs> but let me know. <clears throat> it is of salt. Cruel fate indeed. Okay. Um, up here? Yeah. I really do think it's important to have friends, or even just connections with others. That's why it hurts so much to lose Sahori. But I don't want to, anyone else to have to go through that. We'll have to end this so we can all go back to our peaceful lives. Okay, and then the last one is over here. It's Yoko. Okay. Yes. It's weird being part of a team, fighting with everyone. It started feeling comfortable. In a way I've never really felt. Just can't tell if that's good or bad. Okay. Well, sounds good, but... Yeah. Doesn't sound good for our past, though. Now then. We're gonna sell. And you may notice we have quite a lot to sell. And that's because, as I said at the start of the episode, I grabbed a few things. Let's go see the crown bottle. It, it sells alright. It's not, it doesn't sell for a huge amount, but it sells all right. Looking to sell right, let's sell all of this. So that gets us 42,000 back up. And all I did for that was just simply run around uh, the first area and the second area, grabbing every um, bending machine we had on the map. And that was it. So, yes, uh, that's fine. Let's head into World of Shadows. Oh, welcome. Yes, that's the new miracles that we already knew about. Let's register. Are you ready? Uh, do we have any... I don't think we have any glory, right? No. So the new miracles are Demon Proficiency, which increases allies' demon skill slots, and Divine Proficiency, which increases our skill slots. Those are probably the next two we want, because those are insanely good. Because the earlier you get them, the more tools you have, and you want them before you level, because if you have them before you level, then you can put things into that slot. You can't really easily get things back later. I mean, we can because we've got essences, but your demons is a little bit harder. Okay, and this increases your almighty skill potential. That says buy two, and that says buy two. By the way it works for these? Interesting. So does that mean that it moves it to, th does that mean that makes it three, or does that mean that it makes it two and it's overriding one? It's interesting in the way it's phrased. Anyway, demon fusion, special fusion. We do have a few special fusions we can make. We have Alice and we have Hayatoro. Hayatoro seems like a very easy one to make. Doesn't cost that much. 
Alice, I think we gotta do a little work with, but I think Hayato I'm happy to just make as it as is. So that would give us Hayato, which has lightning speed. The spirit of a monster busting dog that used to live in Kozenji. Long ago, the villagers of Isuki would offer one of their own girls to a giant monkey yokai to prevent it from ravaging the fields. A monkey passing by learned of the, or a monk passing by learned of this and that the yokai greatly feared Hay Hayatoro. The monk then rushed off and found Hayatoro at Kozenji. Hayatoro was offered a place of a offered in place of a village girl where he then defeated the yokai but was mortally wounded in the epic battle. The loyal dog traveled back to Kozenji, where he died shortly after reuniting with his master. Okay, so lightning speed. Raises critical rate when accuracy evasion is raised. Carnage Fang. Heavy physical attack to one foe, greater effect if critical. Witness me. Draws enemy hostility but raises user's accuracy evasion by two ranks for three turns. Moderate HP recovery and cures ailments for one ally. Fizz block. Nullifies a physical attack against all allies for one turn. Seems very good. Uh, what are we gonna make make it with? We could take charge. Charge is quite useful with Carnage Fang, potentially for a big hit. Has some um stuff with electricity as well. Actually, what other skills have you got? So you're gonna get resist force at some point, you're gonna get enduring soul, and you're gonna get zeodyne. So I probably want all three of those. So I definitely want a skill slot before we level you up too much. Uh, with that in mind, I'm probably going to take Zeonga. The reason being is that's an easy replacement with Zeodyne. Um, and then maybe Charge? Yeah. Although you actually have some healing stuff. So we could take Medea and make you more of a healer as well. Potentially not the worst idea I've ever had. But no, I think I'll take Charge. There we go. Is this Fuse. To your liking? Yes. I am at your side. I am ha Hayatoro. I shall serve at your side. As he said. Okay, so we're going to leave here very briefly. We're only going to leave here so that I can be sort out the ability setup. So it's going to be that. And that'll probably do it, actually. And I see I've run out of demon stock. Ah. Okay. Well, that's good info to have, because that means we couldn't create Alice even if we wanted to. And to create Alice, we're probably going to want to create the demons at lower levels Welcome and then the make Alice afterwards. So, we'll see. Let's do some demon fusion. Uh, Dyad compendium fusion. And just see who we got. So, who isn't long for this world? Nekomata. I think Nekomata needs to leave. What's our level? Level is 41. Okay. So the lowest level thing we can make with Nekomata is an Elagor. That's Nekomata plus Artemis. I think that's a waste of Artemis to make Elagor out of Artemis. Could make you... Just to give you a straight upgrade. Okay. Thunderbird? That's Hayatoro. Again, a bit of a waste. Now Garaja? Hmm. Thormouth? Replacing Hellbiker, probably not ideal. Could replace Turbo Granny. Now, Nekomata Turbo Granny turning into a door a Dormarth. That seems like a good move. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Right, lore. A canine demon of Celtic mythology, commanded by Gwyn, king of the afterlife. She is said to be a hound with a red nose visible even uh through even the mountain mist. The meaning of her name is uncertain and subject to much speculation, but most com the most common theory is Death's Door, and she is thought to be the gatekeeper of the afterlife under Gwyn's reign. Okay. Apparently we can find her in the wild, but I think we can create this person. Yeah, let's create you. Um, what are we going to give you? So you start with Frenzy Chomp, medium physical attack, chance of inflicting a thing. Axel Claw is a bunch of physical attacks. You have Mood on. What's Purple Smoke? Three weak physical attacks, greater effect if they've got Confusion, Charm. You got Dark Pleroma coming up. Okay. Uh, Laura's Accuracy Evasion could be okay. 
This is just a better version of that, I think, for right now. Hmm. Resist force could be really nice. It gives you no weakness. And beast eye? Yeah. Let's set those. And what's this? When the user resists or nulls an attack, chance to counter a medium dark attack with a chance of instant kill. Nice. Okay. Is this demon to your liking? Yes. Yippee! Guess I should introduce myself. I'm Dormarth. Nice to meet nice meeting you. Okay, purple smoke. Three weak physical attacks, greater effect if the target is inflicted with confusion. I think the three medium attacks is better. Yeah, I, I think I I, th I think I uh, declined skill. Cool. Right. So that gives us one slot free. We have a new special fusion that we've learned about up here as well. Ah, huh. interesting. Oh, I know what that one is. Yeah, that's the uh, enemy we fought earlier. Interesting. Okay, Dyad Compendium. Who else is not long for this world? Probably Thoth? We never use Thoth. Thoth, the lowest level we can make it is a Zo is a, a Zochutin. Which gives us four Heavenly King. You know, actually, what we should do instead, now we've got a slot free. Let's do Reverse Compendium. What's the lowest level thing we haven't got yet? Parvati. Which is a Yataru and a Lamia, which allows us to make a Parvati. Now, Parvati is a healer, and Bowl of High Gaia is pretty good because it allows you to increase your healing quite a lot. It does mean we lose our electricity one. How's Parvati with electricity? She's neutral? It's okay. We've used you before, but there's not a great reason why we used you. I think we just used you because you stayed alive, basically, so... Yeah, maybe I just give you... Did we, we got Zeon got on someone else recently, didn't we? Using Dyad Fusion purely so I can go back and see... Yeah, so Hayatoro is going to have electricity. So we don't need to worry too much about that, actually. Yeah, let's fuse you into a Parvati with Lamia. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll get rid of both of these guys. Uh, maybe Mazionga could be nice. Yeah, and then... I don't know. Uh, I actually kind of think Resist... I Well, Resist Ice is... In, I think Resist Dark is good. And then maybe just HP? Yeah, but Heal Pleroma is so good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set this. Yeah, lower. This beautiful goddess of love is one of Shiva's wives in Hindu mythology. She won Shiva's love despite the fact that he was an aesthetic. Cool. Is this demon to your liking? I think so, yeah. Pleased to meet you. I guess I should introduce myself. I'm Parvati. Nice meeting you. Right? Bufula. I don't think we need Bufula. A heal Pleroma. It's Matarunda or Resist Dark or Lifespring. These are our three options. I think Lifespring we need because our base life is low. I think I'm going to get rid of Matarunda. I don't think we need that here. Bufula, I'm going to just straight up decline. <laughs> and we can now do Idun from that. Oh. So Idun is level 42. So we're right on there. So Idun is almost certainly going to be made from Parvat. Yeah, so this is... As a guaranteed next level make. Yeah. As absolutely guaranteed. Okay. So let's let's head out here. So we need 20,000 for it as well. Just showing us Dormarth there. Parvati. So Parvati. Uh, something like that seems good for me. Okay. Uh, we have two slots for Alice. Okay. So that's what I was looking for. So now we have 20,000. We can potentially buy Alice. Okay. Uh, Demon Fusion. Not Reverse Fusion. Reverse Compendium Fusion. No. Uh, Special Fusion. There we go. So Alice is 40. So Alice. What do we make you out of? We make you out of Mushiwu. Which is fine. Poltergeist, Bugs, and Jack-O-Lantern. So if we can make Poltergeist and Bugs for cheap. 
we'll be laughing. Although, actually, is there another dyad that we can do? Yeah, Thoth I wanted to get rid of. Zochutin, we could get rid of for 14,000. Paramatengu plus Pixie. Now, that's a very good one. That's only 2,000 to get rid of Thoth. Okay. Uh, what does Thoth give us? Uh, resist ice. And then maybe a light move. Okay. So, oh, you get Wind Draco Strike. Nice. Okay. Uh, you also are good with light. So let's give you the heavy light attack. Give you uh, resist ice, light pleroma. And now we're a little bit like, I don't know. Um, I almost think Patro would be good here just to cure status ailments. Although Mahama's almost certainly going to... Well, we don't really need Mahama if we have Hamon. Although Mahama might be... Yeah, no, we don't need that. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Lore. A Tengu that is said to have lived in Mount Kurama in Kyoto. Most powerful and well-known of the Tengu is the power to fend off disease and bring good fortune. He's also said to have trained Yoshisu uh, Yoshitsune in how to fight with a sword when Yoshitsune was still a child. Some believe him to be Bishamon, ha, Bishamon Ten's knight form. Is this yes, we're going to make a Kurama Tengu. Wonderful. Let us I am Kurama Tengu. Well met. That it is. I don't. I don't need Mahama. No, because we have Hamon. I don't need that. Right. Let's head out here. And especially because he's a physical attacker, we're not going to need it anyway. We have a new Analyze, which I guess means we can find him out in the wild as well. Rama Tengu. Weak physical attack always lands critical hits. Interesting. Actually, this is fine. I think I just want to do that. There we are. Right. Do a save. Next one. We're all about just trying to optimize our party here. Trying to get as many things as possible Welcome. in our party. So, um... That's fine. Anything else we could get rid of? Quetzalcoatl? Elagor? Maybe. Might be time to make Elagor. There's Yakshini I can make him out of. What's Quetzalcoatl giving us? Like fire, I guess? Yeah. Your fire is pretty good. You get a medium fire attack. Next time, you already have medium fire attack to all foes. Yeah, you know what? Let's make him. Apologies for the weird cut in the video there. I ran out of recording space and didn't notice until after I had created Elagor from Quetzalcoatl. Elagor is also a fire-based guy, so it seemed like a good chance to get rid of Quetzalcoatl and to upgrade to the next thing. So, uh, here we have to choose something to get rid of. Uh, I don't think we need both of these. I don't think I'm ever going to use both of these, so I'm going to get rid of Blight. So we can have another fire attack in here. So is this medium fire? Yes. And this is also medium fire. Perfect. So we will do that. And that gives us Elagor. Wonderful. And then I'm going to leave here. And I'm going to go and reorganize Elagor's skills. Just so that they're all set up the way that I want them to be set up. Actually, uh, this is more like what I'm looking for. Right. Then we're going back into the world of shadows and we're seeing what else we can create. Uh, so, Demon Fusion, Reverse Compendium. Just want to see if we've missed anything along the ways. Is there a way of saying, like, and haven't made yet? Uh, sort. I unregistered? I guess that would show unregistered first. Then it shows registered after. Yes, yeah, good. Okay. So, Zo. Chutin is the lowest level unregistered one that we haven't got yet. So we should probably make this, right? Just because if we don't make it now, we'll never make it. Is there anything I can make it out of? What's the best thing to use? What what are you? Kind of like an electric attacker? Really what I'm making Narcissus out of. I guess I could make you out of Karata Tengu. They don't really need you. That makes us a zoo here. Doesn't really help us with us our making Alice thing that we were doing though. Maybe I'll put prioritize Alice right now and then we'll come back to you later. So, Alice. For that we need Poltergeist, 
bugs and jack-o'-lantern. So poltergeist, uh, if we do reverse compendium, I'm going to unsort, but I'm just going to go by level again. Poltergeist. What's the lowest amount we can make a poltergeist out of that doesn't use our current stuff? Um, lowest, I guess I could use Karasa Tengu. Because I don't really need this. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's do it. So we're going to make you, we're going to give you, I don't know. Wind Breath, Mazanma, Poisma, and Dustma. I'm thinking what might pass along to Alice. So we'll set that. Don't need Dream Needle, uh, D Dream Needle or Elect Is Block. We're good to go. We've already made this before, so we can just skip here. Right. Cool. Uh, decline skill. Decline skill. Actually, this gives us the extra slot I was looking for. Because I needed three slots to make three things for Alice. And actually, by getting rid of Karasa Tengu, I've now opened one up. The next up is Bugs, who's like level 24. Or, yeah, there we go. Uh, I can't make you out of Poltergeist, as funny as that would be. Because that doesn't really help us. Uh, so 6,000 for bugs. Okay. There are only three things I can pass along. Use. Right. So we skip that. And we skip this. Uh, and what's the last one for Alice? Alice now looking a lot cheaper. Jack-o'-lantern, 10,000. Okay. So Jack-o'-lantern's a much lower level one. Isn't he? Did I already go past him? Jack-o'-lantern. I'm starting to think I'm missing him. Maybe he is higher level than these. Oh, he's level 20. There we go. Uh, and we can make, I like how you can make Jack-o'-lantern out of bugs as well. Uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for, and then we'll do these. Sure, set. Is this demon to you? Cool, so this now makes us a jack-o'-lantern. Wonderful. And now we can special fusion Alice for zero, which is a very good price, I'd say. We do lose Mushawu's Maiden Morsel, which is kind of useful, but beyond that, I think we're mostly okay. Now, Alice has a new ability. When user receives a stat debuff, slight MP recovery to all allies. When Alice receives a stat debuff, gives an MP recovery to all your allies. Interesting. Okay. Lore. A mysterious spirit that takes the form of a blonde girl. Despite her innocent appearance, she possesses immeasurable magical strength. Some she say she is the ghost of an English girl who died a tragic death. Others say she is merely an apparition born from someone's imagination. And she has a unique ability, Die For Me. Two to six medium dark attacks to random foes. Chance of instant kill when striking weakness. Very, very good. Right, uh, well, let's make her. Uh, so we can't pass along Jack uh, Aguilau, because it won't work. Because uh, it's unique to Jack uh, Frost. Beyond that, is she, what else is she good at? She's good at uh, negative effects. We don't need Mudon. Uh, we don't need Mudo or Mamudo because she has Mudon and Die for me. So that's fine. We could pass along Dormina, Poisma, or Dustoma. But she's not good enough at healing. We could pass along Tetracorn and Life Spring. I think these are probably the most sensible ones to pass along here. I think the rest of her kit works pretty well. Is this demon to you? Let's go. Nice to meet you. My name's Alice. Let's don't, play. Don't look at me like I'm some kind of spoiled fiend. That's what she was saying. Okay, it costs us 73,000 Amaka to rebuy this version of Alice that we created. And we have enough for a dune next level. Perfect. That now means that we have two slot, three slots free in our party, which is cool. And I just want to see... Zuko... So, uh, so we can, I think we can get a power somewhere here. Was it power we were fighting, not principality last episode? It might have been power. Yeah, oops. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, Zucho Chutin. Um, 
the cheapest that we can get for him is going to be this, 17,000. Yeah, it's not worth it. I think we would have to go find some things for him if we were going to create some. Like, what what we got here? That what, What's it? Kakirihime and Shikiwiji. Yeah. Naga. I just don't know. Can, where can we find these guys? Can we find them? No. So, yeah. Can't find Takumi Nakata either. Satanta Makami might be the cheapest. No, you can't find Makami either. Kelpie we can find. Can't find that one. Karasa Tengu. So we can find Karasa Tengu. We can't find Kikirihime. Jack Frost we know we can find. Hariti. No. This we can find. We can't find the other one. Hariti still no. Uh, still no. Can't find Thoughts. I'm just seeing like what what are we working with here? Attis? Can we find Attis? No. Wow, so we have no combo of ones that we can find out in the field to make it. So we'd have to definitely make it with this plus something else. Hmm. Yeah. Unless we can find any of these guys, any of the ones we already have out in the field, but I don't think we can. Oh, well, maybe we can we can find this one, yeah. So I guess we could find it and then Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's not that easy to make, is what we're getting at here. Cool. Demon Compendium is sorted. Uh, we have nothing in Apotheosis we need to do. I think we're, we're all set up. Now, do we have our best party here now? Sakona Hikona still seems pretty good. Someone like Alice could be better. Someone like Elagor Parvati. Par I think that, realistically, Sakuna Hikona is going to be replaced by Parvati's replacement next time. Hayatoro is probably better then. Actually, I think Hayatoro is better in that slot. Realistically, realistically, Tao is replaced with a Dune, and then Yoko is replaced with Alice, but yeah, we're again, we're trying to use the guest character, so we'll, we'll work with what we got. But I think this one works pretty well for us. Cool. Right. Well, I'm going to save here because uh, it's a good point to end the episode, and also I need to um, don't want to make this one too long because I got to splice the videos together from that weird uh, cut earlier. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.